episode. And to those of you who didn't watch that, this probably won't make any goddamn sense. But, uh, you know, you know who we are. You know what this is. Hopefully. If you don't, I, I'm Fitz. I have no hope for you. I'm Ryan. And this is the Wizard Music Vlog. Vlog? Vlog. Yeah. Okay. We gotta come to an agreement on that at some point. At some point, eventually, maybe, hopefully. So, um, moving forward. Uh, we passed Bless the Fall. So, our next, uh, next topic to cover is the most recent show that I attended, which was, um, the Escape the Fate slash Poppy Voltor. I don't technically know who, whose tour it was. Uh, Poppy Evil was the last band to play. But, um, so, this, this show consisted of, um, Glamour the Kill, who are from, from England. So they're from across the pond. Uh, they're a great bunch of guys. Um, they put on a good set, you know. Um, it was really entertaining. There are a few songs that I would heard before, but I never really listened to them very much. Um, are they a Glamour Kills reference? No, I don't think so. Really? I don't believe so. Because there's a clothing line in a magazine called Glamour Kills. Okay. I don't believe so. But, you never know. Um, so Glamour of the Kill, uh, there's another band right after them called Avatar. Avatar was quite interesting. Avatar... Were they ten foot tall blue people? No. The, uh, lead singer was pretty goddamn tall, though. Did he have blue arrow on his head? No. So Avatar... That's all the Avatars I know. ...is a band from Gothenburg, Sweden. First of all, Gothenburg's pretty decently of a name. Second of all, they, um, it was like a, a demented, um, like, bloodlusting circus. But, you know, we're all into that with fucking the Venetia Fair and shit. But these guys were like the Venetia Fair just fucking went on a blood rampage. It's, uh, don't they do that every Friday anyway? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, they're always busting each other's faces every before that. So that was, that was interesting. They, they were, they were fucking amazing. You know, most, most of those bands from, from Sweden, Finland, shit, they are. They were much heavier than anybody else on the show, but it, it was fucking, it was pretty badass. Um, and then, next up was Escape to Fate. This was my fourth time seeing them. Christ, this, that was ten, Jen's tenth time. So. That's insane. So it was, uh, but, you know, like I said, it was my fourth time. That's and, dedication. Um, That's what that is. Yeah. Um. This is my fourth time seeing them, and, you know, they're just as good as ever. They've gone through member changes in the last few years with, uh, the Money Brothers leaving right before the Bury the Hatchet tour. They left for their own personal reasons and started their own, own band. And, um, then, uh, Kevin Thrasher came in to take over on lead guitar. TJ Bell moved from bass to rhythm guitar. And the original bassist in the band, Max Green, came back, and, um... That's the opposite of what I made. Yeah. And, uh, Max Green came back and joined the, the band as an official member during the very Hatchet tour, which was in February. January and February. Um, and then, right before this tour, Max Green had to leave the, the tour for, um personal reasons, he had to go back to Ohio and deal with some family issues, so, um, Davey, the singer of Glamour of the Kill, Davey, he's the singer and the bassist of Glamour of the Kill, um, has been filling in on bass with him on this tour. Mark hoppus -ish. Yeah. Um, and then we just found out, um, Friday, I believe it was, we found out on Friday that Max Cream is actually leaving the band again. He was leaving, he left the band because he felt unfulfilled in the band and um, didn't have the same drive for the band as he did when he started it back with Ronnie back in 2005. So, um, he left the band. So, I mean, they're finishing out the tour still. They have a, a little less than two weeks left. And then we got a new update today that Max actually just joined Falling in Reverse. Really? Yeah. He went back to, uh, he went back to be with his old buddy, Ronnie. Which, you know, could spell, uh, could spell a new 
a new direction for Falling in Reverse after their most recent album was uh, was interesting. And it's rap. Nice. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of rap and there's very poppy. So maybe that means, you know, they're going to go in a new direction. This also means that bassist Ron Ficaro has uh, left the band. Uh, I'm not sure what terms he left the band on, honestly. But I'm sure we'll hear more about that in the next few days. Um, but, you know, moving back to the show, uh, Escape the Fate put on a, a fucking great show, as usual. Um, it, was, it was a shame because uh, TJ had kind of uh, messed up his voice, because TJ does most of the screaming while they're out on the road, um, and he had messed up his voice the day before our show, so he was having a hard time, he was struggling a lot, but it didn't really take away from their show, the show was great. Um, you know, Davey kind of looked like he was just in his own playing phase, like filling in for them, and he, he nailed some important parts, so it was pretty cool. But we also got uh, VIP for that show, so we got we got a pretty cool live in it, which if I can figure out where the hell. Anyway, I don't know where I put it, but it came it came with a uh, get back in the picture uh, before you start talking. Yeah, I don't know where it went, but it came with a, a lamb in it and uh, a, a copy, a, another copy of their most recent album, Ungrateful. Uh, I don't know where my copy is. That I got, but this this is the deluxe edition, which has a DVD of music video of like a music video or two. Or, well, what was on this? Oh, uh, it's not. Yeah, it's it's a, uh, two music videos and their show at the Roxy. Didn't they give you their sex tape too? Sure, we'll <laughs> go with that. So that's that's the deluxe edition. Um, as the other a super one, deluxe edition. The other one has the same cover, but it's not red. It's like this tan color, like the back of the album. But yeah, so um, now we have, I think, three or four copies of that album in the house. Is that it? Yep. Wait, let me see. Is this is this mine? No, this one's this one's Jen's. But yeah, uh, this is what they signed in the in the uh, meet and greet after the show. You know, we we got to the meet and greet and and fucking uh, Kevin and Craig hugged me. Because, you know, that they now know who the hell I am. But, um, that was pretty cool. And then, the, uh, the head, the, the actual headliner of the show was Pop Evil. I never really heard that much of Pop Evil. Pop Evil actually kind of plays on, uh, on music choice sometimes. But I never really listened to much of their stuff. Got me on it. <sighs> it's contagious. Now so, you're all gonna yawn. Fuck you, I made you yawn. <laughs> <laughs> So, Pop Evil was the actual headliner of the show. Time out. Also, you're now aware that your tongue does not sit comfortably in your mouth and you have to move it around. And you're consciously breathing. You're aware of your breathing patterns right now. You're gonna hate me for that. But it's gonna happen. Are you aware that you're about to Psychology. Stop Brian's gonna kill me. I know this. For so, a fact. Um, there's that right hand again. So, Pop Evil was the actual headliner. Pop Evil was, was much different than the rest of the bands that are that were on the show. You know, the, the post-hardcore thing. Um, they were more... It seemed like they were more mainstream, more made for the older generation of fans of this genre. Um, not my forte, but it, they, still, they still put on a good show. Um, so that's pretty much that. That's it. That's that show. And there were some other things that have gone on that we've missed out on because of work and school. We had uh, just this past Sunday was, <clears throat> excuse me, the Radio 1045 seventh birthday show. Um, I heard it was a great show. They were hanging out at Susquehanna Bank Center. Where we'll be every month. Yeah, Warped Tour. Yeah, Warped Tour is coming up very, very soon. It's one of my favorite parts of the summer. Um, Warped Tour's got a pretty, pretty decent list of uh, bands playing this year. I haven't even seen it yet. I know if Mice and Men's playing, um, Bowling in Reverse is playing, which means, you know, I'll be seeing Max Green again, which is a little strange. Um, and, uh, I believe Bowling for Soup's playing again, and they're finally going to come to Philly. <laughs> and I think... Hopefully they play the Phineas and Ferb theme song. Yeah, there's a, there's a huge list of bands, obviously, it's, a, it's you know, the 
probably the biggest music festival. Like, um, moving, Coachella, Firefly, moving, Reading. Moving, moving oh. music festival. I mean, okay. considering this festival moves and it's in a different city every day throughout the summer is pretty crazy. Um, yeah. It is, so. It's huge. It's a huge thing. I mean, um, I mean, doesn't Mayhem Fest do that too for a little yeah, bit? Yeah, but Mayhem's nowhere near as big. Mayhem's like 20 bands. Like, it's not, it's not as big. So that's, that's a pretty cool thing. Uh, Mayhem's actually also owned by the same guy, Kevin Lyon. Is it really? Yeah, he does that in Uproar. Did not know that. I yeah. thought he was just, uh, I thought he was just Warped Tour. No, he, he develops a lot of these things. He does, he's involved in a lot of them. Um, we love you, Kevin. Yeah. Please sign our band to one of your tours. Yeah. <laughs> if you ever see this, you never know. That's true. We're not as bad at the generous as we seem. So, where do we stand now? I think we've discussed everything we need to discuss, and it's time to play a song. No, it's not. Yeah, over the last few days, we've, uh, he's played through the fire and flames in case you didn't realize. Um, over the last few days, acoustically, that's enough of that. <laughs> over the last few days, I've broken out the old school guitar here, man, and I've realized how much harder it is to play that fucking game when you can play guitar. Yeah, I mean, I when Guitar Hero three came out, I got that, and I played it religiously. You know, five star every song on medium. I, I was never that good, but you know, five star every single song on medium, including all the bonus tracks. And then I learned real guitar. I, you know, started at just about the same time as that game came out, uh, back when I was in, uh, seventh grade, I think. And now going back and playing that game. Just like, well, what the hell am I doing? One, it's a major throwback. And two, it's just like, what's going on? Five buttons? And my fingers only reach four of them? Like, yeah, I, I can, like do this on a real guitar and I can't even yeah I can you, I know you guys can't see it but I uh, the other night as a joke my buddy's like he's trying to play through the fire and flames on expert <laughs> first of all I don't know if you know this but when you do that the game just says good luck I, I was it, it just says good luck but uh, I wore down all the stickers on the front markers here they give you those stupid fucking, like, skull stickers to stick on the front. Yeah, real Guitar Hero players don't put the stickers on. It's only it's losers that do. This ain't mine. So that's true. But I, uh, I actually wore off the stickers from moving so fast. And I, you know, I got 50% of the notes. I tried it the first time, played three seconds, and failed instantly. Yeah, that's, uh... Then I went back and turned on no-fail mode just to try to make it through the song. It, like, it felt like I had been masturbating for three days straight. It was bad. <laughs> I know that feeling. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, not so, from Guitar Hero, either. I think we've, uh, I think we've reached the end of our, the end of our days. Um, days of our lives. Time to set ourselves on fire. No. Um, but I think we've reached what we, uh, what we needed to talk about today. If you guys have anything that you know you want to talk about in the next upcoming episodes, then feel free to let us know on you know on the website, on our Tumblr, Twitter, Instagram. Chances are we won't answer you. No, I will. Really? Yeah, I'm religiously on these social networks, man. It's oh. ridiculous. We don't have a Facebook page yet. I, I just know. go to school and sleep all the time. Do we really need a Facebook page? I think we do. I mean, everybody is on Facebook. Yeah, maybe it's a good idea. But we shouldn't connect our personal Facebooks to this. That that might get embarrassing. Yeah, I mean, let us know. Let us know what you think. you think we need a Facebook? Um, do you even care? Do you Does anybody watch this? Is there anybody out there? I don't like Pink Floyd. Never been a big Pink Floyd fan. Money? I'm a big fan of money. Not the song. But... Bing, bing, bing. You should you should learn that bass line. It's a pretty cool bass line, though. It is. Hey. The only word I know is home. <laughs> okay. Um, but I think that's it for this time. Um, maybe next time we'll play a song if he remembers his guitar. Brian's lying. That's not the guitar hero guitar. He's uh he's actually a huge Pink Floyd fan, and whenever I'm back at school, 
he just sits in his room and sings, I wish you were here. And just doesn't leave. No, that's, days. that's the Incubus song that I sing. Yeah, I like that one. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of Pink Floyd. I but love Pink Floyd. Never really got into Pink Floyd, but The Doors. The Doors, not so much, but I respect, I, I I do, respect everything they've done for music, but... I do very much enjoy Pink Floyd. You know, it's just like... Jim Morrison's voice was just too monotone for me. I like, uh, what's that one? The one song they sing. Shit. There's one um, or two that are like, he's, you know, upbeat, and those are the ones I enjoy, but other than that, it's The times they are changing, Bill, that's Bob Dylan. Yeah. I'm just messing around. I knew that. Anyway, um, we will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching and putting up with our bullshit. Uh, once again, he's Fitz. Deuces. And I'm Ryan. We'll see you later. Behind the club on the weekend Acting stupid, getting drunk with my best friends I couldn't wait for the summer at the warp tour I remember it's the first time